among all nations. You know about the process of sifting? Come out far as farming, yeah. to the wheat and all that different stuff. Right. This plain to me before. Okay. I'm gonna hit you with this. You're gonna have a fake Jew, look like a rabbi, got doo-doo curls coming on the side of his head. He could be an Israelite. That's right. You no, just because that's a curse. Yeah. Yeah. To look like that is a curse. Actually, but check this out though. Check this out though. Now, you might say that though, right? Mm. Now, if I go in front of that same so-called rabbi, right? It don't matter. No, it does matter. Because if I, I can have a better conversation in Hebrew with him, so? and he's going to talk with it. So it no, he's not. He's so going to come out with the Lord said come in the spirit he's going to do the prophecy. Kabbalah. That's, 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 you and the Kabbalah. Come in the spirit that's assuming. Of prophecy. That's assuming. What you doing is that Kabbalah shit. A so-called so rabbi should be the Melchizedek order. When you breaking each letter down character by character, going to all this wild, bugged out stuff, that's the Kabbalah. That's that Freemasonry stuff. Because you know, Freemasonry, like Albert Pike said, at the heart of Freemasonry is based upon the Kabbalah. And that, that's going into numerology and all this all this crazy stuff, man. Hey, before you know before you know yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you were known as an Israelite, what was your car? Okay, so if I if now back in the day, these Gentiles, there's Israelites, if I go to them, they what do call them I'm a Greek. I'm a I'm a Ethiopian because it's born and raised in that land. Do the word Greek in uh, the Hebrew? It means a uh, uh, Jew speaking. Uh, what's, what's they say Greek speaking Jew. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You got you got Hellenists Hellenist. and you got Hellenistes. No, I know I know no, Hellenists. So, so so are you African? Are you African American? Because your name is African American. I mean, technically. No. Hold on, hold on. Technically, so let me read this hold, on, now. hold on. Technically, African American makes sense. No, no that's no, it. No, that's it. I'm gonna tell you why. Israel. Hold up. 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 Now we're gonna speak right. Hebrew. Hold up. Okay, now hold up for a second. The Halua Africani yes. is the plate of African. That was named after two listen, so-called white men. Listen to me. Listen to me. Africanus is a Latin word. Listen to me. Listen Latin. to me. First of all, Africa comes from the tribe of Ephraim. It came from the so-called white man. It comes from Ephraim, oh, and I can show it to you Ephraim. on my phone. The tribe of Ephraim is the word Africa over time. You want to see? Africana, Do you want to see? Yeah, yeah, Who's right. Africa? Who's Africa? How do you say that nigga name? I'm not saying. Yeah, that nigga. So you say so you claiming to be your, your master's uh, property then? That's your assumption. You're an Israel, not an African. African dude. is a. So you gonna man. so you gonna do like hold on hold on hold on hold, 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 hold on. So you follow Torah, right? So you, I tell you something. You do like Korah instead of being like Moses and go and pray about it, right? I told you no, Mo Why, hold on hold on hold on hold on. If I tell you something and then you and I'll tell you I'm an Israelite. And you don't know if it's from Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, Ruach Hakadosh, right? So all I'm telling you is, is that if I tell you something, right. don't be like Corey and insult me. All right. Hold I'm on, listen. Talking. No, but listen, seriously, okay. seriously. Go ahead. That's the Corey spirit, right? And I'm really? calling it out. All okay. right. So we already know. We already studied this. All right. If, all right. We already know about African American. So, That's the thing. Do like Moses you did. You gotta humble yourself. I'm humbling myself. You know what I'm and I'm telling you. Right. No, I'm, I'm pretty straight. We okay. already know. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm, I'm telling you something you, should, you don't know. The word I'm Africa is a Latin word. Yeah, you're going to tell me that, all that. Did the native yeah, inhabitants of Africa, did they call it Africa? The king searches it out. They did not call that whole continent. They didn't even know that whole continent existed. There you go. They each have an Africa. That's Ephraim. Anybody can write a sign what? up, bro. And yeah, over time, Af look, on, bro. I'm starting with the Come Hebrew. On, that's, that's Latin. Hebrew. Listen, Hebrew, what, what down is that? to the Greek, down to the Latin, doing too much. into English. Are you serious? Like, you know, you did that shit right now. Like, I'm dead at. I'm you dead at. You made that yourself like, what's weird? Like, 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 Oh, right, you said Obadiah 18. Why, why are you getting that? Let me get this. You said Obadiah what? 18. 18. Obadiah 18 says Acts all Edomites will right. be 100% exterminated. This is why you're reading this. It's Acts 2 and uh, 6. Now, when they was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because they, every man heard them speak, uh, speak in his own language. Listen. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another. Uh, Hold, are, are, like, are not all these which speak Galileans? I'm checking my point. I'm going that. Uh, hold up. Let's see. Let's take your time. You find it. Uh, let me read this out. Uh, this is, you know about this oh, right here? Wow. You familiar with this? He said, hold up. You familiar with 
the uh, Solomon Bible Dictionary? He said, uh, it was the that. Okay, let me read, um, let me read about Edom. Okay. Oh, Edom. Even, even the white man knows what's going to happen to it. He said, open, he said, uh, he Edom said, figures uh, prominently in the prophetic scriptures. Oh, uh, see, we, we're, we're all about prophetic prophecy. Again, prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgment. She is, referring to Edom, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from the Most High. See that? That book of Hebrews. Right there. Edom. We already who was Edom? Edom? Who was Esau? Who was Esau though? Well, who was Esau? Is that Genesis 36? I'm not sure. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. When you give, who is Edom? Hold up, hold up. When you give knowledge, right, it's information. Then you, all right, then you got to understand it. That, all right, all right, comprehension. And then you got wisdom and you got to apply it, right? So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to read the knowledge first. It has, it's a process. Everything in order. You feel me? Yeah, everything you got to and in order. <laughs> so most high is not the author of confusion. In the, in the kingdom of heaven, Edomites are going to be our slaves. And we're going to, like, we're going to, we're going to toss them off the cliff again. Alright, you mind if I take a picture of that? Of that out. Uh, that's a classic dictionary. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicant or profane person as Esau from for ahead. one mercy of meat served his birthright. But you know how, this is the main point, but you know how that afterward, when he had inherited the blessing, he was rejected, but he found no place to repent it. So Esau can't repent. So the Lord came, what does Matthew 1 and 21 say? It says, yeah, how was Shai came to save his people from their sins. And he told us to go teach the gospel and tell people to repent. That's clear, bro. There ain't no repentance for Esau. Esau is going into slavery. He said the Lord died for all the nations. What did you say? Yes. Okay. Acts 5. You know, all those nations is the 12 tribes. Hey, are you still that water? No, because yeah. each nation, each tribe is a nation of itself. In the book of Revelation, it says there is many nations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Many tongues. Yeah. 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 Y
says the same thing. Now, now, you, now, 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 now go to Hebrews chapter hold 10. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, no, let's, we, we're pretty sad. I, I got you covered. You, you, you get scripture. Now, what the Lord said, it's blood. It's not, how you make a covenant? Let me cover how, what's hey, established by? We in a blood uh, covenant. Moses, but Moses made that covenant with you. He sprinkled the blood. blood. Right. So we, how Shai said, I give my blood up for this new test, new right. covenant. So right now we sprinkling it. So what's the new covenant for? Again, who's it for? Israel. Who's the new covenant for? It's for all. It's for Israel. It just said Israel. Oh, it just bro. said Israel. Oh, when I say Israel, I'm talking bro. about those. It's all as far as those who are trying to be Israel. No, it just said, it just, it just said all. No, said you don't Israel. try to beat Israel. No, I'm you saying be Israel. You can't. are living the truth through the light. Break this down. Matthew 15 and 24. So. But he answered and said, it, it, it. but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But we read Isaiah 49, That's clear. verse 5 to 6. Read, and it this is red letters, bro. Gentiles to us. But understand the Gentiles, so did, the Gentiles are still so people. Who, who did Paul wash his hands and say, I'm going to the Gentiles now? That's the, the Israelites. The Jews are so mad that the Gentiles had he salvation. Just read, bro, right. he just read the scripture right. and said, you were. They was pissed off. Because right. oh, that man, because that Jake came from uh, Greece. Can't get it, or can't Italy. get it. Oh, he can't be an Israelite. Yes. Hey, get, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. What happens, what happens, <laughs> what happens when you miss one day? Uh, what happens when you miss one uh, pastor? One what's happening to you? What's the Lord said to you? He said, cut, he said, cut them off from being my people, right? I mean, from being uh, the people. Yeah, he said something like that. Somebody can get it to know where it's at. But, but what, let, me, let me finish. He said, let them be cut off from being my people. So that's what happened back in the day. Hmm. We, we went to, we born in, some people were born in Greek and they had bald headed, it was tattoos. You know, they say, oh, you ain't my people no more. Y'all heathens, y'all want to go to heathens. Right, let me ask you this question. All right. Gentiles. Let me ask you this question. Is Passover a Sabbath? Yes, it, is. Yeah, it, just, it says it's a Sabbath. It shall be up to you as a it Sabbath. Is, it is exactly, it got seven days. And, then and actually the days. Passover is on the second Sabbath of the month on the 14th day. I'm glad you said that. Now, what happens is, is every single year, this uh, Passover comes, right? It's on a full moon. But it'll be on like a Tuesday. But we don't, we don't do that. Hold on, listen though, listen though. And not all the time. All right, not all the time, but I'm saying it'll be on an off day. It'll be on a full moon. But what I'm saying is, seven. we have a system that automatically goes seven days and it starts over, right? right. Well, no, yeah, okay. according to the Monday, moon. Monday, we use a lunar calendar. Because Sabbath will always be on a full moon. All the time, every time. The first Sabbath of the month is the new moon. But there's moon. books that no says moon. that. Yeah, well, on the fourth, no the, 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 what I said, the, the Passover will be on a full moon. So, like, doesn't the book of Enoch say that the uh, moon will well, be off 10 days? You, you got me there. Let me ask you just one question. How many tribes we're living in the land of Israel during the time of Yahweh Shai. I mean, uh, in the land. In during the time of Yahweh Shai, under Roman occupation, how many tribes were living in the land of Israel? This is something I've never been asked before. Just three. Just There's three two, tribes, right? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The, and the other tribe, the northern ten tribes were scattered, correct? Let me show you something. They were here. James. Who's James? Brother of the Lord. Did, I thought we didn't get scattered in 7 AD. Listen. No, that, that, no, that, that was when the Romans besieged. That was Benjamin, Judah, and Levi that got scattered. Right, the northern right. ten tribes had been scattered. That's right. that's all but, history, man. So listen, this is the book of James, written in the first century, A.D. Listen, this is key. James, a servant of the Most High, and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad greeting. So he wrote this to the twelve tribes. Right. There's only three in the land at the time. So why do you think they went to the Greek islands? To the Hellenists and the Hellenist states. Why do you think they taught the Gauls and, and the, the Scythians? Those are Jakes. They were scattered. Israel scattered. You got to get that word scattered in your mind. Because Israel scattered. You could look at, some of you might look like a devil. You know, some people call me an Edomite. You know what I mean? Bruce Lee's an Israelite. Look like a Chinese man. He got the spirit of a lion. So you mean the China, Mobite is that motherfucking bad? Right. He was the baddest man on the planet. Ba well, actually, nobody he really wasn't, but well, one there's of, a brother that made he, him look stupid. He said Bruce Lee. What, what about Eminem? Yeah, it's a brother fucking M Jake. Eminem. Man. Beautiful Jake. Eminem is an Israelite. Elvis, I'm sorry. Elvis, Elvis Presley's an Israelite. He's cold with it. He, I, I want to uh, suspicious mind. He sound like oh, a so Jake. He sound like oh, a black that's man, straight up. That's, that's a that Jake. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that fire like, right if there. If he didn't tell who that was, he'd be like, oh, that's a black man. You know so you saying? saying Edomite sound good? Edomite so, don't sound so good. Saying I'm saying Deuteronomy 23, verse 7 through 8 says that after a certain amount of generations, they could be in the house. Man, Larry Bird was an Israelite, bro. They said, the Lord said, they got in the nation to eat them forever. Let me read the scripture, bro. This is uh, Acts 2 and 5. This is the point I wanted to get. I, I skipped it. I How many yeah. Edomites you know playing the NBA? None. Go ahead. And there, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. And their names all of them. 
Egypt, yep. uh, Ethiopia, these yep. all guys. The, the devout Jews under every nation. So you got Israelites, that, why do you think they, they could speak in tongues and un, all of a sudden they was able to understand all language? Because 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 Israel, you know, in the ancient world, Spain. What was it? The ancient name of Spain? The Hibernia, right? And what the Bible calls a uh, Tarshish. But Hibernia come from the word Hebrew. The word Ireland. Well, excuse me. Iberia was Spain. Ireland was Hibernia, which they the same word. Hibernia means Hebrew. Iberia means Hebrew. Okay. And the Irish. That, what's the symbol of the Irish? The heart. You know what I mean? I mean, it's clear. If you can't get it, you can't get it. I can't make you get it. The Lord got to put the spirit on you to get it. Here we go. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Who? Unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Oh. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you. So it's all right, for Israel. Hold up now. Who's the, he, did he say Cyrus, the prince of Persia, was his shepherd? He set him up. He set him up as a ruler. He's from another nation. They, the, so from the, another the, nation. The Lord set up all the kings of the earth. He set up the Babylonians. The Lord set up the Persians. So he, he uses no, other nations for his Don't you know, his there, yeah, yeah. You, do you know what the battle of Guagamela is? The, where Alexander took down the Persians. There was reports that there, there was uh, chariots that helped that led Alexander to victory because... Uh, Alexander had to rule, and he was an Edomite, but he had to rule for prophecy's sake. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Egypt said, uh, raise up the girl so I can whip his ass. Right. I mean, so, <laughs> most people can't get this. It's so easy to understand. America's at Pharaoh now. America. Egypt is at America, you know? They got Same that. Shit. What's on the back of a dollar? You know what I mean? That, the pyramid. America's spirit. That, that still comes back to being a Hebrew. How is that? The all seeing eye of Horus? First of all, the all seeing eye, that's the letter I in. That's the 16th letter of payment. Well, the word I comes from I in. We know that. But everybody got eyes except for you. You got eyes, but you can't see. Ears, but you can't hear. That's to it. this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, got him. He's doing like Corey. Oh, no. I'm doing it like I'm doing it like Peter. I'm doing it like John and Luke. Uh, if you make an insult, like if, you make an in, if you make an insult without praying. How is that an insult? Like the Lord said hey, that to Israel. He said, I'm said, blind. The Lord said, compel them. But I, I feel y'all blind because if I say. If you I, can the, feel no, 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 Let me say this real quick. The Lord, said, the Lord said, come read. go in the highways of the Bible and compel yeah. them to come in. Read. Look at that word compel in Greek. It means to threaten. So what? So y'all can learn the fear of the Lord. So we are assaulting. Yes. All I do is quote the Lord, bro. I'm saying, if you're going to say the I got, I got Obadiah in the and, Hebrew. And you didn't even know Obadiah. And it okay. said Esau going to die. Are you going to read it? Hold up. Tell me. Everybody going to stand you, though. Ain't worried about everybody. You talking about That's why we're writing this, though. Huh? I, I, I'm going to go do an uh, Obadiah video. Oh, yeah, we're going like, yeah, to uh, gonna break yeah. it down in Hebrew, God, man, bro. For this again, God, bro. Obadiah said there will be none remaining in the house of Esau. I mean, how hard yeah, is that? Yeah, well, I said, no, it's like Ayan, right? He said there should not be any remaining in the house of Esau. I think, well, I think it's Ayan, maybe, right? None. It's like Ayan, Ayan, something like that. You look that That's for right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I've read that in the Hebrew before. I, mean, I ain't got it memorized in the Hebrew, but I guarantee you it says that Esau get destroyed. I know that. I know Malachi 1 says the Lord hates Esau. Y'all be hitting, y'all be saying so many scriptures at one time. Bro, because if we got all the scriptures. They're a little, they're a little, they're a lot of Because we know the scriptures. We, we bombarding you like a Gatling gun with your scriptures. Tap, 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 tap. But that doesn't, edify, that doesn't edify just because you bombard somebody. That's not the whole That's point. That's too bad for you. Look, look, say he quickened. Yeah, too bad for you. Yeah, it's very quickened. It. And it's all simple stuff we say. We ain't going deep and crazy. It ain't saying. So you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about, about this, think about this. Yeah. Yeah. Think about this, think about this. We got the milk, bro. German is from where? The land of milk and honey. The German's from the man. What does the word German mean? The original Germans was Israelites. No, but listen. Germans are from Germany, right? That's Deutschland. Huh? That's Deutschland. Okay. Okay. Which is a from Russia, right? No, 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 no. Everything's been fucked up. I understand all that, but in basic simple No, terms, the Russians are actually started by Vikings, the Rus. Are Chinese people from China? No, they're from Moab. They actually come from the Middle East. That's right. Everybody started off. <laughs> everything started right there and went like this. What's your point, though? Dispersed. Yeah, everything is dispersed. Is this the capital building or not? That's the temple of Zeus. 
<laughs> that's the temple of Jupiter. They claim it's a temple or whatever. That is not no capital. That's a temple, bro. Look at it. That's a temple. You know what I mean? Say. Now, we both say we Hebrew Israel. But if y'all can't answer a simple question, it's Chinese, it's Chinese people from China. No! Oh. Listen, you're not listening. Half the goddamn Chinese is If a Chinese Israelite. person leaves the land of China, where are they going to come from? Are they going to come from the land of you China? About recent, or is it going to be called Moab? You're talking about like, today, today, yeah. NBC News, is they going to say China or are they going to say the land of Moab? They're gonna say the land of China. They're gonna say we came from Africa. Does that mean it's true? Huh? They're gonna say we came from Africa. If they in China, you, you got distinct. Uh, I just told you in Hebrew that Israel was called the Haluak Africana. East Africa. I want to find the scripture right Here you go. Galatians. Do you want to see Galatians 4 and 23. Galatians. But look, there's, I'll give you this. There's Israelites all through Africa. The uh, the Fulani people. Those is Jakes. You know what I'm saying? The Ebo. They're African. They're not they African. Not they don't even they don't call themselves African. African. They're, they're in, in, in Africa now. Though. But they're I in mean, Africa for a reason. Africa's a big ass continent. Right. That's the biggest land mass on Galatians Earth. Galatians 4 and 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which oh, is the mother of us all. Jerusalem, the mother yeah. of us all. That's where all. That's Jerusalem is not Africa. It's definitely not Africa. But yeah, so everybody, the scriptures tell you. I'm just serious. You can read Genesis the 10th chapter really? and tell you everybody's lands originally. Uh, everything started right here, then it just moved out. Originally, nobody even lived in America, so-called America. This, this land used to be uh, the land where mankind never dwelt, as the apocalypse tells. The new world. The yeah, new world. I just bought this one. Yeah, yeah. 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 She said we from Africa. I'm telling you, is it is. Oh, 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 you're saying Israel was in East Africa? It's the call, no, because they say it say Hebrews are like proves Israel in Africa. He's gone. He's no. So you gonna tell me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You speaking early and prematurely. So you speaking about the elders in the moment? They're not elders. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, you need to you need to bless the children of Israel and stop talking no, bad no, about no, no. the children. No, no, no. There, there, there are those of Israel that are not Israel. Okay, but you don't know that though. And if someone says they are Israel, you gotta respect them off the street. I respect somebody a lot. If someone is in the land of Israel and you're in America. And they go to the spot that says. You're not supposed to be back there. Listen, listen, wait, wait, listen, wait. listen. They go to the spot in Israel. To to the the back. Listen, listen, listen. You're being hard headed right okay, now. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you speak. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. They're in the land of Israel, okay. and they go there and read in Hebrew uh, a sign that's been there for tons of years, and it says that Israel is the Haluak Afrikani in Hebrew. It's East Africa. Ha means the, Luak means place, Afrikani as you can hear. Oh, and and that's why the fake Jews put them right next to the new plant. They get all kind of uh, radiation, what sicknesses. What scripture says go back to Israel? So, all right, you what scripture says that? Huh? You give me scripture that says that's all go back to Israel. The Lord said he's going to deliver us from all nations. You know what I'm saying? Prophesy. The church going to come and deliver us. Not us. We're going to go on an airplane, air ticket, and go over there. What scripture says that? That's a future prophecy. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't respect nothing that man says because I already know he's all about it. That scripture in that one. We're not going back there until they get exterminated and enslaved. My eye just came back from Israel and. Like that's fine. That's fine. Well, look, Canada and America is connected. Doesn't mean the same place. I don't even want to go through that. that that's, that's not even the land of Israel. That's called the land of Edom. All right, right let now. me ask you a question. Does Jeremiah 29 say uh, you're supposed to bless the land? No, not where the Israel man. No, Jeremiah 29 was a, a letter to the uh, when he was in captivity in Babylon, right? And when he was in captivity, oh, did he say curse the land or bless the land? That right now, what up? Hey, let me ask you this. So, did the Lord uh, bless that land when when uh, the Romans came down and burnt the temple to the ground? Yeah. That was a blessing, right? I'm sorry, too. He said, he disrespected the hell.